I'm Julie Herman of Jaybird Quilts and welcome back to the Telescope Sew Along. Today I'm going to show you how to perfectly cut your striped fabric to create mitered kites for your telescope quilt. You can use the half triangle from the Jaybird Quilts Fussy Cut Shapes or I'll also show you how to do it with your Sidekick Ruler. Let's get started. Directions for what I'm about to cover are on page 5 of the pattern. Here I have a fat quarter of my striped fabric. If you're doing the queen size, you have a half yard. Either way, the directions from here on out are the same. Normally when we cut fabric, we cut with a fabric, which is from the selvage to the middle or the selvage all the way back to the selvage. That's not what we're gonna do today. We're going to be cutting this way, which is often referred to as length of fabric. We're going to be cutting along the selvage. You can start on either side, and we need to cut four and a half inch strips. You could just start cutting them, but I find that the kites turn out best if we go from the edge of a neon to the edge of a neon. Now these strips are approximately half an inch apart, but it's not exact. So what I wanna do is find my two and a quarter line and have that in the center of a neon. So there's my two and a quarter. There we go, there's my two and a quarter line. And what that means is my two inch line is kind of on the edge of this one and my two and a half inch line is on the edge of this one. And as you see, as you go further out, I'll zoom in for you. And you can see as you go out that the half inch lines of the ruler no longer line up perfectly with the strips of the fabric. That's okay. The way that we're cutting it, everything that we're talking about is gonna end up in the seam allowance. So what we wanna focus on is that we're straight and that our two inch and our two and a half inch are on either side of one neon line. Go ahead and cut. I'm gonna zoom back out for you. Rotate this around. Line my ruler back up and line it up to four and a half inches. My double check to myself is that my lines are lined up along my neon. and cut. Now there's going to be some waste because we're going to cut off the end here. So we can start, we're going to again line up on the neon. And if you need to, zhuzh your fabric over to get things perfectly straight underneath your ruler. Attention to cutting here is really what's gonna create the perfect mitered kites. So I'm going to cut. And now I'll rotate this piece around and I just have a small amount of waste that I'll be trimming off. And you'll continue cutting as many pieces as needed based off of the pattern. I wanna focus on one piece at a time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fold this onto itself and make sure that I line the stripes up perfectly with each other. You have enough wiggle room here to have like an eighth of an inch or more of waist so that you can perfectly see that your stripes are lined up. And then I'm going to take either my Fussy Cut Shapes or my Sidekick Ruler and line it up to create a clean square edge before I begin any of my cutting. I'm gonna rotate it around without moving anything. And first I'll show you how we use the fussy cut shapes and then I'll show you how we use the sidekick ruler. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to line the piece up along here and along here and it should line up down here as well. First do my long trim, slide this out of the way and then trim off my dog ear. Now it can be tempting to open this up right now, but the key to getting our stripes perfectly pieced is we're not going to open this. We're gonna go right to the machine and sew our scant quarter inch seam right here and we're going to end up with perfectly mitered pieces. Now let's finish up our cutting. To cut our next piece, we're going to turn 
our fussy cut shape, line it up with the diagonal line we cut, the base and the top here, and trim. Now for the purposes of this project, we don't need the blunt corners here as much as we do in some projects. So you don't need to cut those if you don't want to. You can easily cut these with the sidekick ruler as well. And if this is kind of getting in the way, this bubble, you can just go ahead and finger press it. Trim, rotate it around and trim. The key to making these kites is having the two stripes perfectly lined up on top of each other during cutting. If things get off during cutting, that's when your miters are not going to be perfectly lined up on each other. After cutting, head right over to your machine to sew your kites. It's important that you sew the long bias angle and not the short straight of grain angle. If you sew this, you are just going to be sewing it back together and creating single stripes along a triangle. Sewing along the long bias edge is going to make the kite. Do your best not to shift these between cutting and sewing. Set up your machine to a scant quarter inch seam. If you're not familiar with scant, I'll link below some additional information. A scant quarter inch seam is just one thread over and accounts for what thread will be in the seam allowance so that your block will measure perfectly what it should measure in the following steps. Just continue chain piecing your kites. Here's our first kite, and there we go. Perfectly mitered stripes by cutting and then coming right to piecing. So a lot of times I do all my cutting and then all my sewing, but with the stripes, I really recommend cutting one color at a time and then bringing all your pieces right to the machine. If your cutting area is not near your machine, it's helpful to bring over a notebook or some type of flat surface that you can use to put all of your cut pieces on so that you can take them right to the machine. You end up with these awesome kites every time. And if something happens to shift and one of them isn't perfect, it's easy to go ahead, unpick, and sew another one. By taking your time with cutting to make sure your stripes are cut straight with your strip, and then fold it perfectly on top of each other, you'll end up with great kites like this every time. If you have not yet signed up for the Sew Along emails, you can do so in the caption below. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any videos in the Sew Along. In the next video, we are going to focus on feature animal prints. See you soon.